Hey, what's up, Juna? It's been a while. How you been? Good, good, man. Good to see you. Thanks for reaching yeah. out. So I messaged you because I wanted to collab. First of all, it's been a while since yeah. we've collabed and I love when we collab. So I was thinking that we could potentially work together on a video idea where, okay. you know, what are the, what are the steps of launching a successful print on demand product? Well, mm -hmm. for one, we got to research, right? For right. Two, research is huge. Yeah. I'm yeah. thinking that we got the design expert here and maybe we <laughs> work together on launching a, a, like a mega successful print on demand product. What do you think? Yeah, we should try it out. Yeah, dude. So since you're a much better designer than me, how about I work on this research, try to find something that is, okay. uh, you know, I want to have like big upside. So I'm thinking I'm going to find like a trend and then I'm going to yeah. niche down within that trend so that we don't okay. keep it too broad. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll share my process. Maybe I'll do a video on my channel and then- okay. If you're up for it, I'll pass it off to you and you create like kind of a design within that niche. Yeah, that sounds perfect. So uh, you'll do the research. I'll do the design. I'll do it uh, so people can follow along and they can follow both our channels and, and kind of see the whole thing. Yeah, All like right, it. man. Well, I'll be in touch soon then with the niche. Okay. All right, guys, I'm excited to get this collab going with Juna from Detour Shirts. Make sure you check out his channel. It'll be linked in the description below. But we are going to find a winning niche to hold up our portion of this deal. Before we get started, just wanted to remind you in the description, I've got a bunch of free resources. Make sure you take advantage of the weekly print on demand giveaway. It's free to enter. The winners will be randomly selected and announced on Sunday. I've got a seven day Merch by Amazon mini course that you can take advantage of. And I've got a great Merch by Amazon Facebook group that I would love to have you in if you're not a member. All right, so while doing my niche research, I'm thinking, you know what, August is here. What is the biggest trend that we know is coming in August? Well, it's back to school. And it is so big that even though there's a lot of competition, if we really want that big upside that we were just talking about, I think we need to be in back to school because man, like every kid is going back to school. Kids got their parents taking them back to school and there's teachers. There's just a lot of ways to work these angles. So I always optimize my approach to print on demand for Amazon merch because I feel like it has the highest earning potential and today is no different. So I'm gonna be using pretty merch and specifically their research tab to get my uh, research started for this video. Also, they have one click away. The, re the research tab's one click away. The trademark search is one click away. That's also equally important to make sure we don't infringe on somebody's trademark. All right, so we have that on lock. And now I'm on the research tab and I'm just gonna do what I do every week when I'm preparing for top five niches of the week. I'm just giving it a quick scroll. And if you're wondering like, how do I stumble upon these trends that everybody else seems to find before me? Well, oftentimes it is doing exactly what you see me doing right here, just scrolling through trends. But the further you scroll, if you start seeing repetition of certain designs or niches, that's how you might be early to identify a trend. Or if it's a dying trend that already passed, uh, you may also see the BSRs continuing to decline. But I think we can lock in back to school. By the way, I love looking at Google Trends to kind of spy on when the absolute peak is in terms of uh, search interest on Google for any set of keywords. In this case, I typed in back to school and we see that August 22nd to 28th is probably what we can project to be our uh, peak season for back to school. So that would probably be the best week of sales for us. And ideally we'll be able to organically rank on some valuable keywords. For instance, if we could rank on back to school shirt, that would be amazing. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, certainly we'll try. Um, also I noticed, I really like this shirt. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research and work on my new Etsy shop. And I noticed on Etsy, man, people really love this bubbly 60s, 70s vintage style. And I'm thinking, you know what? using this as inspiration, it says, it's a beautiful day for learning. Can we cross niche this sort of style, this vintage style with back to school, right? Let's see. So I go to uh, pretty merch pro plus the research tab and I type in 60s, 70s. It's all I type. I just want to see in terms of like designs, what are we looking at here? What are we working with? And we see a lot of peace signs as you would expect. Uh, BSRs, by the way, in the range of 60,000 to 200,000 for the first row of results, second row, uh, 200,000 to 400,000 more peace signs. One says, all you need is love. Uh, one says groovy, 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 just repeating the words, but it's got that wavy bubbly font that I really like. Um, Juna, hopefully you can execute this. I'm looking forward to seeing your part of the video as well. Um, but I'm thinking that, you know, I like this idea. 
I don't want to get attached to it, but um, let me do some further research and refine my search and see if I can find some back to school or school related niches that come in the 60s, 70s uh, vintage retro design style. Well, hey, what do you know? They actually exist. So we've got second grade vibes, third grade vibes. We've got uh, fifth grade and it's in that really cool. I don't even know how to describe it, but that font is it a font i don't know but uh the way they did that fifth grade shirt if you go looking at etsy there's a bunch of like shirts just making a ton of sales and they're just typing in text with that font so if you guys know what that font is um you can email me or direct message me and i'll keep it between us because i couldn't find it when i went looking for it but i love the way that looks love the colors too uh behind me hello first grade got the wavy bubbly um over here on the left says senior 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 oh it has 2023 built in that's really cool um, behind me first day of school vibes. All right. So there's a lot of ways to attack this guys. Um, here's even more kindergarten vibes. And then behind me again with that one font family, it says second grade, uh, but it's got that cool 3d look and I love the vintage distressed. It's like very subtle, um, colors look great. So I I'm really liking this. And then it dawned on me. Why settle for one design, especially when I'm not the one designing them, <laughs> right? Let's, let's make Juno's life twice as hard. Can we double our sales by marketing to both kids and parents, right? Like I'm thinking first day of school, getting dropped off. My mom's there with me. Well, you know, what if she wants to embarrass me and we wear matching shirts to the first day of school? I'd probably get mad at her, but let's market to those parents, the overbearing parents that want to match their kid on the first day of school, right? Um, regardless of what grade they're in, you know, but I didn't, I didn't imagine we'd sell more to the, um, you know, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, if I had to guess, but can we double our sales? Let's, let's, let's go for it. Now I had to brainstorm some niches. I ended up calling my parents and said, Hey, I need ideas. What was it like back in the sixties, seventies, whatever era it is where I'm seeing these t-shirt designs with the bubbly fonts, the peace signs, the flowers, this color scheme, etc. Uh, after talking with them, honestly, I, I, <laughs> My dad kept come, kept trying to come up with like funny ways of implementing like Led Zeppelin into it. And I'm like, dad, I, I can't do it. It's going to get me in trouble. We can't do Led Zeppelin. But he had a bunch of good ideas as far as that went. Um, they, they both had some good ideas. But ultimately, what we ended up coming up with was groovy. You know, I, and I always think of like Austin Powers too. If you guys ever saw the Austin Powers movies, I always thought they were really funny. So why not mix like groovy, which is one of those words that really represents that time and mix it with being a first grader, you know, being a second grader, being a third grader, etc. So for the parent shirt, we could say something like groovy mom or groovy mama of the first grader, right? And then for the kid, groovy little miss first grader. You see what I'm saying? So groovy mama of first grader, and then the kid gets groovy little first grader, something along those lines. We're kind of cross niching where well we are definitely cross niching then we're sub niching we're looking at other designs that already exist by the way for validation that also have pretty good bsrs um keep in mind it's not back to school yet so i think these bsrs are pretty good they're in like the hundred thousand range the the 60 70 designs have like a three hundred thousand bsr i'm liking it so i think we're gonna roll with this so before we hand it off to juna i just wanted to make a quick note if we are trying to market multiple products in one order to customers with regards to merch by Amazon, where we're kind of restricted in what we can do, how we can frame things, because we can't really edit the listings the way that we could if it was like on Etsy or on Seller Central even. Uh, you can run ads if you have access and set up sponsored brand campaigns. As long as your products are in the same brand, which is required, you can set up a sponsored brand campaign and you can set up those types of ads that show up at the very, very top of search results, but you have to advertise at least three at a time, which means you need to have three products, okay? So just throwing it out there, if you've, if you've never tried these, it's worth considering, especially like I think in this use case specifically. But all right, I'm gonna go contact Juna and hand it off to him. All right, Juna, so I have been in the lab and I think I found us a winning niche. Nice, nice, all right, what do you got? Yeah, let me, let me share screen, man. Um, so, it's probably going to surprise you, just kidding, uh, that back to school is probably <laughs> the biggest trend coming mm -hmm. up in no, August. Not the time. And, uh, I went down a design rabbit hole <sighs> and noticed this have like trending seen? design style of 60s, 70s. Like, have you been seeing yes. that lately? Yes, I've been noticing this too. Yeah, this is cool. Awesome. Yeah, so I mean, you're the design expert. So as long as you can pull it off, I think we're okay. <laughs> I think we can. Uh, yeah, I mean, lots so of was, ways to do it, like you see right here. But I, I think this is, like you said, it's a, it's a trend we're seeing. And look at those low, 
low BSRs, man. Yeah. Yeah. The BSRs are great, like really low. And that's like without us being in the peak seat. Well, actually this is 60, 70, so it's not necessarily back to school, but yeah, this, yeah, these are selling well right this now. This and the back to school together kind of cross niche. Yeah. You, you read my mind, man. So look yeah. at these designs. Yes. They're yes. already doing it. They have That's the true. grades. They've got like senior, um, the color schemes are great. So mm -hmm. what I was thinking that we could do to challenge you a little bit is can we double our sales by marketing these designs to the kids and the parents together? Maybe yeah. make, you know, there you go. Yeah. Why not? Cause then, you know, the, the parents are the one that's buying it. And I know there's lots of moms who want to kind of match their kids or whatever on the first day of school or whatever it is. So I think this is great. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is going to work. Give me your feedback, but the groovy aspect, I, you know, what's funny is I was talking to my parents. I said, you know, the 60s, 70s thing reminds me of Austin Powers. And I always think of like him just saying like groovy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, ever yeah, saw yeah, that yeah. movie? <laughs> well, you can see these are doing well too. I think groovy is perfect. Cause it already just that word kind of brings that nostalgia. So if mm -hmm. we got, we got a word that brings that in the color scheme and all of that, I think it's just all going to work well. So, so this is, yeah, this is ultimately where um, I'm thinking it's going to lead is we have kind of like the groovy mom or the groovy dad to the students, you know, like yeah. the first grader and okay. to the first grader themselves, they could just be the groovy first grader. So right. What yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, what yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. Awesome, man. So, Hey, this is yours to take it and run with it. I can't wait to see what you come up with. All right. I will. A good challenge. I'll I'll do it all in Canva. Um, use some good fonts and some and some icon graphics and stuff. I think this would be fun.